Free Time Zone, your book review podcast. Enjoy! Hey everybody, this is Renee. And Bridget. And Talisha. And this is episode 11 of Same Book, Three Time Zones. We are in November 2019. This is our 11th time meeting together. (laughs) Yes, yes. For the book of the month of November, we read Shots Not Taken by Nicole Falls. For people who who probably have not read it, we just going to say whether we liked it or not, and then they're going to have to go so we can really talk about the book. Okay. Okay. So, Bridget, what you thought about it? Um, I loved it. Um, I loved it, actually, from the beginning. From the beginning. Even though it was a little slow at first, because, like all of us, you know, sports is not my thing. Well, me personally, sports not my thing, but you know, it, it it grabbed me. So I continued on. I continued on, and I just I loved all the characters. I loved them. They they were real, obnoxious, loving, funny, all of that. I loved it. What about, what about you, P? What and Bridget just said? <laughs> I don't know why I'm not gonna do this. I don't. <laughs> Fine. What? What? Okay. So me. I like it. Go get the book. Go read it. Cause if you keep listening to our, <laughs> you gonna hear everything that's about. I know, about. right? This is like a, a, a what they call crash course or something. <laughs> Tell all. Yes. Yes, it um, is. Tell all. Yeah. Um. A lot of because I don't want nobody, you know, to get spoiled. I always say that all the time. But um, shot not, shots not taken was was really good, and I love. Uh, I love what it represented because, you know, you see a, a basketball on the cover. You're like, it's a basketball, you know, love story. Um, but shots not taken, which is represented the, the opportunities you pass up on in life. Right. I, I love like, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, you realize what that meant, you know, further on in the book. And that was, um, yeah, so the book was really good. Um, I love the characters, just like we just said. It, it was Written very well, and I had that same issue at the beginning. Uh, just that basketball part. I was like, this is very detailed. Um, uh, is it going to be like this the whole time? <laughs> I, like, I don't like sports. Um, but it was really, really good. Now, this is what, like, the, the third book we wrote of basketball? I know well, the one we didn't read, like, we didn't do an episode on, but... Um, I think so. Read a lot of basketball players. I know. <laughs> and, and rap artists. I've noticed that this yes. year. A lot of that. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but hey, that's what we're writing. And we love each and every one of them for their own. Like, Everyone. They're literally not the same story. So, so yay. Thank you, um, Nicole Falls. This was a really great read. And um, everybody, if you have not read it, go get it. Support all of our Black Indie authors. And yes. we're gonna move on to the the real everything about the story. So again, if you have not read it and you don't want us to tell you what it is before, go ahead and uh you know pause it. Come back later and you can laugh with us and stuff when we talk about the favorite parts and you know things that you'll know when you read it. Um so we have uh our main characters. I want to say Nico because it looked like it said Nico, but his name was Nicholas. So we just, I'm gonna say Nicholas this entire time. But, yeah, it was both, really. I mean, he was, he had a good nickname. I didn't know Nico was a name for Nicholas. I just, but yeah. Or um, Nick. Well, yeah, yeah. And Jade. That's my book. I love her. I love her. <laughs> why you love her, Ashley? Why you love her? I know why. Pop off. why. She will pop off. Um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I want to, I guess, so we got introduced to to Nicholas first um and his background and how he got into playing basketball how it took him a while he had a, he had a rough start let's say that he he was somebody who had to really work hard and fight you know to get to where he was and he was on this this great team the Trojans was a NBA basketball team that um that Nicholas was on and it just you know let us know that everything didn't come easy for him you know as far as right him. right yeah get it to where he was so we got to learn that about him you know you love everybody you know like the underdog type person get injured in, in college and have to fight through that and play overseas and 
you know, and like just really grinded out until he got his opportunity, you know, back in the States and he was a Trojan. And then we meet Miss Jade. Jade. When she's at a country uh, singer. A black a, a black country singer. Yes. I would so yeah, I I get that. I'll take it. <laughs> um but yeah, so she's she's one young lady who's who's been, I would say, in the music industry. But just, you know, like as a writer, not really um as much as a singer she wants because she wants to be a like full blown country singer. Right. People, you know, look at her sideways because she's a young black woman, which, you know, they need to stop. So she's done more of writing for other for other people, other artists, but she does, you know, know uh hitter, you know, big players in the industry and stuff. So Ms. Jade is in Nashville, which is now where she's from. Yeah. I remember she's from like a small town. But she's in Nashville pursuing her dream, you know? Uh trying to trying to work her way up and she's in a club when we first uh get a real glimpse of this girl's uh personality yeah yeah personality too yeah yeah um she's on stage you know she she's at a i must what's like a club kind of bar karaoke you know all that type of little small place i see a little small place me too um, little joint that's what yeah, i saw there you go, there you go. i was thinking um, hole in the wall yeah yeah that's not me <laughs> yeah oh um, so she's there you know on her you know on her set uh with you know her main uh, band behind her you know trying to do her thing and sounded good i'm sure that's how i hear it in my heart you know she just has a beautiful voice soulful voice but she can knock out you know all them songs for all the country stars and so I wish this I old her. white man old racist white man what do you say girl he said what she what what her colored self knew about country music. The music that she was saying. Like that. Mm -hmm. But you know what he said when he said that? Okay, she was saying how she was used to people saying different things because she was black trying to sing country music and all. So when they had that part and he said that, I was like, why is that really touching you so hard? I mean, I didn't what was the setting in this? I didn't, I didn't think she was going to respond because, like you said, she just said she's kind of, like, used to that. That's what she... Yeah. I didn't know she was going to respond. Like, I'm about to whoop you. <laughs> she cursed him out, and, like, she about to jump off the stage. And I know. That's what they called I, us back then, doing racist... Uh, doing no, that I know. Racist, I understand uh, why this is for the color. Like, I know right. why that, But the fact that she was, like, that's, like, she's used to... I, I didn't... You know how somebody do something, you kind of used to it. You're like, man, whatever. You curse them out. Right. Real quick. You know, right. My face is gone to your side. At that point, I thought that she was at a point where she just like, F y'all. I'm not even finna, you know, get into it with you because you stupid. I'm going to just keep doing my thing. No. Right. No. <laughs> she was coming off of there, you know, about to fight old dude. And yep. I, I didn't see it going to that extent. It, when she said, when she said that she she experienced it, it didn't sound like she enjoyed, like she was cool with it. It sounded like it irritated her. Like she mentioned it because it pissed her. He put it pisses her off when it happens. Yeah, yeah, like, but she oh, just because I'm black, I I can't do country. Like that's how. So when she went off, I was like, yeah. I, no, I, was, I see I, her doing this a lot. Like I see, like you're so sick. Like, <laughs> You gonna be doing that every night with these ignorant people in this world. Right. Um, Why are you, girl? Come on now. In the situation, like, hey, security, folk, uh, <laughs> right? To go, um, but no, you know she gonna handle it herself. Um, so old dude like how, uh, in a band with her was that her was that her boyfriend at any point? Did I no, feel that? no, I, I, thought, I didn't get that vibe at all for some reason. I, I was feeling that, but then it never came up again. I was like, oh, well, never mind. Just like the way. No, I, they. How? Why? Because he, like he, he, he was a white guy and they worked together. And, but he wasn't racist. But at the yeah. same time, he didn't yeah. stick up for her like she wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so she blamed him, too, because I feel that, too. Like, you just as bad as them if you don't say anything. Like, if you just he let them fly. Ignore it. 
Um, I, I, all I felt was a bit a good cursing out, and then she was gonna go back to her set. I didn't know she was gonna. Um, Cause it's just, I mean, it's, it's, you can't just like shrug it off like this. Is, it is ignorant people out in the world, but you can't, you can't knock them all out. You can't fight. Yeah, them. you can't um, ruin your career. Don't let oh, that ruin your career. You up there performing. Girl, you have to let you gonna have to let some things go. You don't have to address every issue. I'm gonna say something, but I ain't gonna fight you. Goodness. <laughs> if it's so. for that, but yeah, you can probably get somebody have some goons with you. You know, hey, y'all saw him, y'all see his face when he walk out of here, handle that. You know, you won't do it again. Like you seen the, the color of my skin when I walked on the stage. If you didn't like it, you could have walked away then. Why, you know, why you gotta <laughs> if you don't like it, bye. You know? That was so ignorant. That made me mad. I mean, that's so, but it still happens in 2019. Like, are you? Yes, it does. It does. And, uh, anyway, um, so yeah, so that happened, and she went to her car, and then we found oh, Trump. She about to cry. You got these people acting up. <laughs> you know, she was in a car. She didn't want to cry. You know, but you know. It, I, cause the heat, you know, off of that, you know, and it's like, this is your passion and it's a, it, like, um, a genre that you want. It is, it's, and she kept bringing up how it was created by black people. Yeah. Is, you know, predominantly white. And now they try to like come at her crazy because she wants, you know, that's where her heart is. And if that's where your heart is, you go for that. Like, <laughs> yeah, that. This is like a part of the ignorance in this in this country that she has to face in that particular genre of being a black woman. Yeah, that heat, you know, especially not being able to get them. <laughs> like I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like a lot of that crying was not being able to get them. <laughs> if I would have just got them, I would have felt a little better. Um, I think it also like just all of it, the fact that she wants. She wants to sing, like, not at just holding her all, but actually, you know, in the big screens, but no one really wants to give her a chance to actually sing country. They're cool with her writing it, but just, uh, like, producers and such, like, helping her get to the top, they, like, it's hard for her just because she's black and country is typically for even though she she said black people did, I I ain't never seen it. You, you knew that? No, did, did y'all know that? No. I thought it was. I mean, a, I know there's black. I, you know, the, the, of course, only countries I do know be about black people, but um, and I ain't talking about that little new boy that came out. With, <laughs> oh my lord, I hate my kids who singing that song. What's about the horse? Oh, not a horse. No. Old Town Road. Oh, Old Town Road. Yeah. Ross, yeah. No more. Not that kind. I'm talking about, you know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I didn't I didn't know that. Um I believe it, you know. And I didn't I didn't research, but I'm pretty sure, you know, because that's that's like the MO of, of everything. You know, we start something and it get taken over by another. And then act like it's, you know, we had nothing to do with it. Like, we don't belong no more, you know? <laughs> country, country. <laughs> after after that happened, uh, she went to her car. So we, we we got to see her, like, out of that negative element. And she was, like, you know, talking with her her best friend, Naima. And I love their relationship. They, they are crazy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I like the way they talk to each other. Yeah, they remind me of me in August because <laughs> what she said... <laughs> <laughs> I ain't heard from you who uh you know who you sleeping with or you I was just like day that's me talking to August so uh <laughs> who you booed up with because I ain't heard from you what they say once you you know in a new relationship you don't talk to nobody that's true says when it's fresh and y'all newly uh getting mm-hmm. <laughs> that's so true I see like I yeah I love their relationship it's uh the they, the Randall Pearson. What they know about my show? Girl. What do they know about my show? It's funny because when you yeah. watch that show, you know, like you, you saw it, like oh man, yeah, like the dorkish <laughs> kind of cute guy, you know. Right. Because uh, yeah, I like, never man. seen the show, never heard of it. This Girl, is that, that, you it flew right it. above my head. This is us. You didn't. Well, at least you got the Urkel. She said Urkel later. Um, oh yeah, 
But I like that. No, I like no, the parasite that got me. I was like, okay, I marry him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's all. <I> <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, just she, Naima. She didn't like uh, Langston at first because I think he she worked he worked with her dad or something. Um, she was like clowning him, like she didn't like him, and then now she's all in love and stuff, and not all in love. And which is cool too. They're both kind of in the industry too, because I think uh, Naima she was she was now writing as well. So yeah, that's all cool. And then yeah, because she hooked her up, not like that, but like hooked her up with her um, the producer Rich. Mm-hmm. Um, so now her friend was like writing with him. So it, it's like you know everybody's kind of in the same you know world, which is pretty cool. So I just love songwriters. Anybody who you know writes, you know just. <laughs> I just love songwriters and, and authors and stuff because it just it creates all these different things. So I, that's what I really like liked about her because you know we haven't seen a lot. And I'm sure there's probably more books out there, but what have you read so far? This <laughs> our first. So <laughs> anyway, for Jade, the reason why I'm not at a specific part or anything, but what I I liked about her how when they met her and Nicholas met, mm-hmm. you know, he was right after he had a. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. In okay. real life or in, in the books that we've read, the the girls be like mm-hmm. starstruck by them. And she was no way at all. Or innocent. Mm-hmm. Well, no, definitely wasn't innocent. Definitely wasn't innocent. But she didn't want him just because he was a basketball star. Yeah. That wasn't her interest. Yeah. He was fine, you know. And she does course. fine with fine, yeah. you know. Right. <laughs> Right. So that's what I liked about her. It wasn't about the money, the fame and all of that. She really genuinely liked him for himself. Yeah. And that's what I liked about her. Yeah. And it's funny, um, <laughs> like when they when they first met, this was after this huge uh ba- basketball uh uh get the word. Playoffs. The playoffs. Right. Yeah, he had just lost. Yeah, him yeah, and his God. team. It was like a really big thing because i guess they must have sucked previously i don't know but no one expected them to be where they are and they like fought through went through the first round and nobody saw that coming got to the second round got beat up and i thought they was gonna win though i, I thought they was gonna win. i did too but in this whole in their hometown too oh my gosh in a hometown game they lost and he had to go to dinner at his house with langston who is naima's boyfriend that's his i guess best friend. Friend. and then um jade was coming too so right i i thought that was funny that you know i'm sure he thought he was gonna come to a come there with higher <laughs> you know with with a higher uh energy because they just won but no right that's what his plan was yeah, yeah. You know, face them and stuff. And I know, like, he hates, I like this part. I don't, I'm not, into, like, I don't like sports and stuff. But I think it's funny how they have to do the the press, um, junk, whatever, oh. thing afterwards. And how mm-hmm. much he don't like it. <laughs> he has to do it anyway. Um, I like how they, uh, he was in his hometown and they, you know, was very, most of it was very respectful. And they, you know, like, cheered him on and everything. Yeah, because he was talking about some reporters who were just a holes, and he just hated them. And but I think they got like a standing ovation or something from the reporters. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that was cool. When Jade, <laughs> when Jade met Nicholas, because he already saw her, he was always like the girl fine, you know. He he right. wasn't even excited about it. And this girl came to his uh, his place by herself. I know. <laughs> First thing I heard mouth was. They, 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 uh, they late because they freaking on each other. <laughs> it probably was. That was fun. I, I wouldn't have went up there. I would have had to wait in somewhere. But that's what that's what it was really cool about her. She came in there, like you said, and she just made herself at home. You know, like, yes. she, like she knew. <laughs> um, <laughs> but that was I like that like about her personality. Like it's just. She's not ever going to be somebody that she's not. She's not ever going to be scared to be herself. Right. Like, her put on a filter to be herself, you know, and in front of nobody. So that was that was really cool. I mean, she she's a good writer and she sells her, her stuff. She she got her own money, you know. Yeah. Right. Well, 
So she's she ain't intimidated by him. She ain't making as much as him, but it's not that it's not about the money. Like she's not intimidated right. by your status or your money or something. Like you said, she saw a fine man and she was like, ooh, you know, yes. that's all it takes. Cause her and her uh Miss Naima, you know, they were on they they running through them, you know. Uh <laughs> basically. With no what shame. Nice with no shame. But I think uh the, the thing about this, the beginning of the story, like, you know, it's going to be a love story, but it's always funny when the two people are so into each other, but they try to stay out Away. of the Yeah. Yes. They try not to yeah. go down that, that road, <laughs> even though they both wanted it, but they didn't tell each other that they told their friends that. But it wasn't a love thing. It was a, they it thought was they was fine and wanted to, them wanted to have sex with each other. Yeah. It was an attraction. It wasn't, they did want to have sex with each other, but it seemed like it was more I than see. that, than just sex. <laughs> she said, no, just sex. I think it was just sex. Because oh. she, no, she was said, man, and, uh, I want to have sex with him, but it'd, it'd be awkward having a one night stand and you, you know, you in love with his best friend. Oh, that did happen. She did say that, but it was still more than that. She felt more than that. She told me she felt more. It was more than just a about that man. Besides, he looked good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Don't be hating on Nicholas. What's up with you? All I'm saying is, it was it was about sex for both of them. <sighs> and so they got to know each other, you know. When they uh, oh, it was funny when he uh, <laughs> he gave her his number. No, she gave him. He they exchanged numbers. I think and like uh. He was calling her and she wouldn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, she was, I think she was trying to trying to not take it there because, you, you know, if if he said the same thing or maybe Langston said it when they were talking, it was like, if you mess with her, you know, and it goes sour or you play, whatever, like. They said specifically told that man, leave her alone because I'm about to wipe You want to marry her? Yeah. He said, leave her alone. She <laughs> off limits. He like, dang, you block it like that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they both, because it's like they, the other, their friends both knew, or, okay, not knew, they thought that it was going to be a one night thing. And yeah, it would be awkward afterwards because they, they didn't think it was going to go as far, I don't think, at first because it was just a, a, a a sexual attraction. They like they just want to mess like with I, like I said a few minutes ago in a uh, ain't Bridget. <laughs> I wish I had my cards, but um yeah, I like I said, sex was included in the film. <laughs> yes, it was included, but it was more to it. They didn't just want the sex. That's why they didn't do it right away. Nah, they yeah, had respect sure. for their friends, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> respect for the friends. Uh huh. Okay, so like you said, she uh she she just ignored him. I don't know. It had to be like weeks that she ignored him, and she he popped was, up at her job. Yeah, she was doing a, a hosting <laughs> at that same. I guess this is her regular place. This little uh, dang it, it was called the Purple something. We are gonna call it the little hole in the wall. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not, right? I don't remember the name. But um, yeah, so she's a regular there. So she was hosting uh, like a karaoke night or something like that. And his big tall self, who can't hide from nobody, you know, sitting there. And you, she I wouldn't spoke. She wouldn't like, spoke to him thought, though. We thought what she thought that he was there, and, like he was called all the time, and he stopped, and like he found out where she was gonna be at, and he was there for her. That's nobody else would have thought. <laughs> said it was anything else um and she said her little thing she did you know she did her hosting thing and then she finally went up there to talk to him and speak to him to be nice after ignoring and, him. and he acted a plum butt all he said all my man said was oh wait now i was trying to work with man because i'm you know i was trying to, i was trying to give you an opportunity to work get you some paper in your hockey but now since you want to ignore me I don't, like I don't want I don't want your help no more. Well, what you show up for? <laughs> what you show up for then? To tell but, me that? But I don't. He didn't come down for her. He, did, he didn't even he know, know she was there. She he didn't know that. Um, he did. <laughs> uh, I didn't know. She, uh, she wasn't even supposed to be there that day. I didn't like him right then. 
I, I don't think that was called for. Oh, he was mm-hmm. uh, I, just thought, like, I thought he was. You want to talk to me? You could have said that. What did you give me your number for? And I wasn't even trying to talk to you like that. I was trying to do some business like, with you. Why did, if, if it was that, why didn't you like text it? You know, like like say, hey, you know, I have this proposition or whatever, or this opportunity or something like. Right. You, sh- you should have said something. I mean, I get it. You mad, but <laughs> you know, and it's just I don't know. He could have. He could have had that different. But I, you know, it's okay. Okay. So could so could she like she could yeah, perfectly said like I'm not interested. I don't know why I don't know why she did it like that. I mean, yeah, they both they both dropped the ball on now. They 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 both was wrong in that in that sense. But hey, you know, all things start a little rough sometimes. Um, I thought look, yeah, it was gonna take a minute because <laughs> when he talks to her, oh man. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah, you would have been uh, trash. I, I would have been, I've been done. Like, I <laughs> don't matter what happened, even if you know, he had to apologize, you know, that's all, I guess. And he did, but <laughs> her, uh, <laughs> her, her hate for that girl <laughs> overpowered. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she, so, she was like, you know what, yes, I'm gonna help you beat her because I like that. Uh, yeah. That that Mr. Nicholas can sing, like he can really, really sing. It's not no little, you know, singing in the shower kind of thing. It's something like he can make some some money doing. And being a um, and it's something he wants to do. Yeah, like he being a basketball player. You know, once that's over, or even you know during, I, I don't know how his schedule work. But you know, you have to think about other things that will make you happy because you won't be playing basketball forever. And Bingo was actually one of them. And he entered into um, an Instagram contest for this um, record company, Double R Records. And it's called, what, for, it was just for the gram, right? I think so. Okay, just for the gram. Uh, he entered it anonymously, but he did his videos of him singing. And he ended up being like one of the top favorites of the people who were a part of this this uh contest and i'm like you have to be really good okay <laughs> to be you know that high for the from the voters or whatever so it's, it's him no one knows it's him but it's him and then this other girl melina and this other i mean this only they didn't mention how many like were left but for what we know it was like a, some some white guy who was trying to be too black but he sounded good and some other people um, he made it in the top, I think, whatever at, at first. It was like the, the top ones, and he wanted to take it serious. And his whole point, he went off on Jade because she thought he was trying to hit it. He was, you know, she didn't want to do it like that. Yeah. But not really. <laughs> she she wanted to, but he he was he was coming how he was coming he wanted help he wanted it too. but he also wanted some whatever the business side but he wanted it <laughs> but he was putting that to the side so he could have this girl because he heard her singing when they was doing that five heartbeats at the house y'all um you know, <laughs> nice like this um <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that, i thought that was that was pretty cool that he was that good to be a part of this this uh this contest and he wanted somebody to coach him and she was the closest one i guess to him or closest one with access you know access to to help him through it and uh after that little argument he had his um his personal assistant ferris look for, look for people. people that can help him yeah because she wasn't gonna he was like that ain't gonna work you know for me well that's what he said that ain't gonna work with her because you know what they just went through or whatever so he looking for other people trying to you know get some coaches to help him sing and whatever um for this contest and they interview people and the people are good not all of them but some of them are good but he just can't let go of having jade as his coach Mm. you know that's all he had had to get down he had to get off that horse or whatever and go best friend (laughs) Trying to what wait, wait baby, yep, they went looking for her at the hole in the wall. She wasn't there. And then yep. the last resort was uh call call him. 
call his best friend, but his, the girl, uh, Naima, answered. And she's like, I'm not going to give you her address. Like, I'm not going to do it. But she did. I'm that she did it. <laughs> like, I didn't think she was going to do it. But, you know, he acted like he was desperate. I would have did it. <laughs> <laughs> I think they wanted, they wanted them to be together. Was Naima against it? I don't think she was against it. He, she she no. wasn't against it. He was, though. Yeah, the, the guy, Langston, was. Um, but she gave it to him. And him and his, his uh, assistant <laughs> driving around, and they knew exactly what house it was because of her hot pink car or something like that. Um, that was out there. That was crazy. Them okay. showing surprised at how nice the neighborhood was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She got mm-hmm. some money. <laughs> you still <laughs> live across the street. From, well, we talked about the WNBA players last time, how much they don't make. Um, but she lived across the street from a WNBA player. Mm-hmm. So they pop up at her door thinking they're gonna get what? Somebody like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What would y'all have done if, like, he he already basically told you off, stormed off, and now he's at your door? Like, and I wouldn't have opened it. I would have peeped out, saw it was him, and I wouldn't have opened it. Me. <laughs> what about you, Solution? I would have opened it and asked him how he got this address. <laughs> and when I found out how, I would have slammed it and called my friend. He already knew, though. Because her I. Eyes. <laughs> she already knew. She said she's gonna yep. get. Um. So yeah. So um, apparently she was like sleep or something. But that that's exactly what she did. She she found out it was him. She's like, what what are you doing here? Give give him enough attitude to like. I think at one point he acted. He was he was like over it. Like man, whatever. But you know you needed her. Um. Mm-hmm. So they put things aside. She let him in. Um, so they can talk to her about what what it really was that he wanted, and like Talisha said earlier, when she found out that he's in a part of <laughs> a part mm-hmm. of this contest against her, like her nemesis, um, mm-hmm. Alina, she was all for it. And at first, she was like, "If if you're just doing it, you know, to get back at her, like I don't really, you know, I don't know if that's gonna be good." But she, she wants. She, she wanted really to believed in him, and she, you know, yeah. she, you know, she liked his voice. Yeah, she, she knew about him. She knew about him, but she, she knew about the contest. She didn't know who it was. Yeah, like she didn't know it was him, <laughs> but she knew about that. What was his name? Oaken. Oaken. And I, it clicked like after the end of the book that Oaken was Nico backwards. Um. Yeah, I didn't realize that at first either. I was like, I oh. oh yeah. Um, I just, I just found that out. <laughs> <laughs> so, um so okay for the gram you know she was kind of crushing on that voice and then finds out that that's him so i thought that was that was pretty cool um and that same night they did the whole video with him yeah uh, i think it's yeah with the shirt off that's right yes i love that that was that was good that uh, was seeing the d'angelo's how does it feel um and I was, so I, I was, I was happy that she was helping him. I was like, this is going to be like so cool. Like, but I, I don't know why I felt like something was going to happen, but I didn't think, I didn't know what was going to happen. Cause I, I didn't think of that, but them doing this video in her music room where she do her videos, right? Like friend, you know, once they uploaded it, knew that it was her background in room. And they also saw the reflection of her. I thought they were going to see a reflection of him in a mirror or something. That's I was like, oh my gosh, they're going to find out about him. But no, they don't know who he is, but they have found out that it, she's working with him and she's getting blown right. on you know, Instagram and that's spilling the hot tea. Um, <laughs> so yeah, who this is? Who is that? <laughs> so she... He, and I, I liked how he kind of was like, not scared, but he he was worried. Like, are you okay? You know, because I didn't, I wasn't expecting this to happen. You know, you getting all blown up and all these people, um, just because of you helping me, right? But you know, it worked out. But he still had to make sure you know she was okay with that that attention coming right. from it being him and not just like genuinely people following her for her, you know, for her art. Uh, I now I can say it's not just sex. <laughs> but at first, it was just sex. 
Uh, it was just sex and they hadn't even had sex, still hadn't had sex right now? At the beginning, yes. When he saw her, he wanted to have sex with her. When she saw him, she wanted to have sex with him. And it. now that they're, uh, you know, <laughs> she helping him and they getting to know each other, like, yes, it's not just sex anymore. Whatever, Talisha. Whatever. She's like, Whatever. Yes, of course, she's agreeing with you on this part. That's when you're right. Now it's more than sex. Yeah, now you're right. But you were right. You was wrong. <laughs> so while Jade and Nicholas are working to, with each other, you know, they're getting more comfortable with each other. She's going to his place, you know, helping him with, uh, I guess, like singing techniques and stuff, helping him upload his videos and stuff so he can be in this, you know, continuing this competition. And he's getting a lot of traction um, with this help, with these videos, with his voice. And it's only kind of like him against <laughs> her, her enemy, the Melina girl who we learned that she is kind of like ruthless in how she does like how she moves, you know, like she'll yeah. get people fired, she'll lie on people, she'll sleep in, with people to get her away and stuff like that. Um, and she was doing a lot of that with this this company, uh, this Double R Records, like in the past. So she has like this black, bad blood with her because she was like stealing her content or it was something like that. So she really just yeah. got And Jade and Nico built like a, a friendship relationship, but you, back in, you, they both keep mentioning how they want each other. We We know that. They still, they still have this type of um, need, like, want for their bodies, but they're trying to keep it professional. <laughs> <Girl>. to, <laughs> like I'm saying, they're just trying to keep it, you know, safe in a, in a you know, um, productive environment without going there. Because that will mess things up if it wasn't anything, you know, and they had to work with each other. But, mm -hmm. you know, she signed a contract, she worked with them and things like that. And um, so the next part of this contest is... Was it like a um, a curveball with the producers or the CEOs of the, the company telling Nico, who is anonymous in this contest, that he has to decide if he wants to move into this house with the other contest members because they want to do something of a making a band type of situation. And he, his, um, but this is brought to his attention. Like, we know you want this to be anonymous. You don't want nobody to know who you are because you don't want to get fans because you're a basketball player. He wants to get fans and get votes all for his voice and his talent for singing. And that, and I applaud that because some people, you right, know, right. You know, they're they don't want, he don't want him to like him just because he's a basketball player. Yeah. Just because they know, you know, who he is. Right. Professional. So yeah. they say, you know, if you move into this house and we do this, it's going to be, you know, like live streamed, I'm guessing, but yes. we'll see, you know, all the contestants and then working with producers and stuff. But they'll make sure it's some type of lag so they can kind of block out his face so no one would see him, just to keep him anonymous until, you know, the end, if he did win. And I I didn't think he was going to do it. I thought he was going to be like, uh, nah, because you this, like, bas this famous basketball player, and you have to move into this this house <laughs> with, you know, producers and, and writers and the other con contest members. I'm, I didn't think he was going to do it. I thought that was going to be like, nah. I think Jay should have told him that she got hit yeah. with it too. Yeah. For I her, you know, to be one of the uh, producers to help. She said she think Jay should have told him like when she got, you know, the uh, call about being one of the, um, the writers there. I was surprised he wasn't mad when he found out. Me too. I thought that, be was, that wasn't cool. Like you supposed to, you've been solely helping me, and now you're about to help all of us. Like I felt that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I felt but he wasn't. No, he wasn't. So um, right before, it was like yeah, like literally the week end, maybe before they would have to move to this house, and before he, you know, make the decision that he wants to do that. There's this um, Fourth of July big you know party that naima her best friend's mom is putting on and this is like back you know back in the small town so she's gonna go um nicholas is gonna go they're all going separate they're not together um so for the fourth of july uh weekend they're going down to this little small town i'm guessing that's where everybody's possibly from huh. yeah because nicholas is from there and uh we we learned that he has a, a ex that's there as well. Um, 
That's all we know. I mean, yeah, but I mean, no, she tried to throw a baby on him. I think she, that's what they said. He, oh, she, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. he was he was dancing with, with Jade, you know, having a good old little time mm-hmm. and stuff at the place, and then she had tapped on her shoulder saying she wanted to dance with her. He was like, nah, I'm good. Like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, what? What's happening? But, and I didn't know who that was. As soon as that happened, he was ready to go. He was like, yep. I'm not gonna be here. She's here, I'm out. I'm like, I'm like, what is what is really going on? Um, and like Naima, not Naima, Jay wanted to He wanted to stay. He wanted to stay, but he wanted to go. Naima's trying in the background to hook them up. You know, she's trying to get them because she know the girl wanted to do them, but <laughs> They try to get professional, but she's trying to get her girl to get some. And <laughs> she's really trying to push them together. So they, they make it the way, you know, that he has to take her home. Uh, and he does. And he does, guys. He takes her home. I didn't think they was going to do nothing. <laughs> At first. No. I, no. Nah, when I'm like, they alone now. They finna, no. Nah. Something gonna happen. I don't see alone. You want a little sex? Like it, I don't know. It was something about like that car ride home, and he actually, you know, told her about you know, old girl. Um, like he really felt like he he owed an explanation for how he behaved or whatever. Um, yeah. And then they were at Naima's apartment. They, that's where they at right now. She's not there because she's always with her man. So mm. it's an empty, an empty place. But I don't know. I just, I just felt that was gonna happen. Because there's so much, it's too much sexual tension between them. I feel. And they not working right now. <laughs> yeah, I right? seen that coming. Cause I'm just like, she just y'all want to, y'all want to do stuff when y'all doing, you know. <laughs> you know, he y'all working. Look, of her, you know, looking at her body and stuff, and she just got that look, that strong juice that the, the girl mama made. You know, that make you feel all. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm sure she wanted to do something. Um, that was so fun. That was like a cute little scene of them sitting on the couch. And uh, she, dang, you said something about the 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 girl's peach mom's peach cobbler is gonna be like the best thing that he ever put in his mouth or taste or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> she was like, I bet it's different. I bet it's something else. Um, <laughs> it's better. Not good night. But that, yeah, I saw that. I saw that happening. I'm glad that they were able. I don't know. I, I'm just glad that they did it because I wanted them to do it already. I wanted, oh, you was rooting for it, huh? I was because I felt like they really did like each other, you know, on a, on another level. But it's like that that professional thing they were trying to stay in that lane. I'm like, if y'all gonna be working like this, something gonna happen. Um, hmm. but I'm glad. I'm glad it did happen. I was happy. And unfortunately, when it did, you know, she had an early flight. We all knew she had an early flight, but I didn't know the girl was going to, you know, give him a good time and then just not be there when he woke up in somebody else's house. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's not like it's her apartment. Um, I was was shocked that she did that. She didn't say nothing. And she took his shirt. <laughs> that was hilarious, man. Yeah, he woke up to uh to, Ogre, to Naima coming home and you know her thinks <laughs> they arguing about somebody boots in the, like by yeah, the it's like I'm just saying these not my boots. <laughs> like what you She's said, like, what you mean? I got somebody here or I'll be happy. I'm telling you these ain't my <laughs> Saying like, yeah, I better think. Y'all know who that stuff for. Y'all That's better what think. I thought. I'm like, how are y'all not putting that together? I'm showing them some big old shoes. Right? <laughs> be old dudes. Um, yeah, that was. But funny. he had to do what? What do they call it? The the whole walk? No, the walk. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, both of those. Yeah, because he oh, had the a, whore, yeah. the whore walk. Walk, the, um, the whore walk of fame. The walk. Oh, he said, but the, the walk of shame. He had to come out there with no shirt on. So he's trying to act like he he just was so tired. He don't know what, what happens to his shirt. <laughs> like nothing happened. I just, why are you looking for your shirt in the living room? Nothing happened. I just, I don't know. I just can't find my shirt. Um, <laughs> yeah. So he gave him a shirt, you know, because he didn't want to go home. 
Yeah, very. His yeah. His mom and dad lived there. His mom was. <laughs> How do you want, yeah, walk in a house with no clothes on? That's, that'll be a story you got to tell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I got hot. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so he had, to, he had to go back to his parents' house, and he was about to try to rush off whenever um, taking their little morning walk. But his mama said no. <laughs> like, you better come here. You're going to sit down. You're going to eat with us. You was gone all last night. You know, his dad didn't know what he was doing. Um, <laughs> But that was cute. Uh, and But yeah, so we found out that he did, in fact, ing- agree to go into this this house. Yeah. And I, I still, like, dang. Um, but his his whole mentality was like, you know, that's that's another opportunity. He's not going to back down. He's not going to come. You know, he went this far. He might as well. Um, and yeah, like you said, Jade, you know, when she rushed off, I, she should he should have known because they were yeah. working, they were yeah. working together and for her him to walk into that that house and see her there <laughs> with those two oh no, stupid dude she played a piano and, uh, I live too close the rich rich guy his name is rich her I mean but this is somebody she knows so I, I I mean I can tell like from what he saw it was like the guy was like you know just into her but yes was but it's like on her on her end she don't see that because it's like just a friend you know they work you know they do stuff you know work stuff together and it wasn't even like that but he saw it that's how it usually is about me and the women see and the men can't see it's usually that way but yeah okay we'll take it he he saw that and he said i mean well he said but she gave him that 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 church hug when yeah, that's what he said. Mm-hmm. I was like, is he finna like give her a kiss? Like, I was, I'm, I'm thinking like they just did it like the night before. So, like, how are you? You know, I was like, how is all of that gonna play out in this house with with everybody else? I thought that was gonna be yeah. an issue. I mean, kind of, kind of sort. But he was saying, you know, well, look, after that, if, if that's all she wanted was that one time, that's okay with him. Just let him know. He would have been cool with it. But of course, she wanted more. You can't have it just once. You know, you got to try it out sometime. Um, <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was funny. And uh, when he was in his room, some little hunk, you know. It's already done. <laughs> That girl, I can see her. It's like you could just smell her coming. I can see her too. I don't like it. Melina coming there, you know, Charlie trying to get her claws in them when she finds out, you know, who the anonymous singer is. So Ro is one of the the um, CEOs of the record company who's setting all of this up, you know. So he comes in the room where old girl is, is in, which is his bedroom, and he sees her, you know. He sees what it is and there, he's telling them they gotta go. Come on, everybody, let's go to the other place. Like, well, what y'all doing in here? Yeah. She, she giving him both of them that look, trying to walk away. All you know how they be doing? They shaking their butts when they walk. When people really don't want it, so you look real stupid. You know, because yep, slut bucket. The ones who just think they could just throw their bodies everywhere and like everybody's gonna accept it. Like, bro, sit right. down. Everybody don't want that, especially when everybody mm-hmm. already had it. Right. Sit down. I mean, I can't say too. I mean, it's just the way she uses it. Cause you know the other girls too. They they were they were giving it out like they wanted to. And if that's what you want, have at it. You know, it's your life. But don't be doing it. You know, I was with a motive. That's what make it real dirty. Um, hmm. You want to do it to get something out of it. You know, or to to move up. But anyway, um, they have their meeting. They have the meeting to meet everybody in the house. So it's like a. I want to say like 15 people. It's supposed to be a huge house somewhere. Um, in the woods. Yeah, in the woods, basically. And you meet everybody. So we got uh, Jade, and you got like a couple more writers, and you have the producers. And you get this feeling that the rich guy, who is Jade's one of her friends, already don't like Nicholas. You know? Um, he already a little stank with him in this little meeting, and I'm I'm thinking that's gonna be a problem. I know if it was because he's a basketball player, or it's because he can, you know, he knows something 
he couldn't know nothing was going on with him and Jay. He didn't know that. So maybe he just don't like yeah. him to be a basketball player. So he just a hater. Man, he probably felt something was, and that's why he was acting stank. You think? Because I'm like, why? Why would he? Why was he doing all that? Because he like her. He do like her. You know, he liked her. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. She took him to the room the first time, and then the second time he just busted in or something like that. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And then some rituals like, oh, people don't open, uh, answer, you know, knock on doors and stuff. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. The first, the first night, you know, they, they do the thing <laughs> as soon as they get up in there because she want to let him know it was no one time thing. Like, you know, um, she just had to get up out of there. Cause she she had a fight to catch, so that's understandable. But she sort of woke him up. You know, they they are adjusted to this, and then the next day is like when everything literally like starts. And so the next day, everybody who's like on Instagram or however they're streaming it gets to see these people in this house. And <laughs> um, they had their their morning run. He was shocked when he got up when he was outside, and, he, and, and uh, Jay got out there, and he found out that she runs in the morning just like he does. Mm-hmm. and they did their little run and then when they came back to the door they had like their little moment you know little snuggle up little moment before they go inside the house and i know it was her. i thought <sighs> i know it was her who you thought so so this little clip of them was leaked right and it got leaked to the the blogs of uh jade and nicholas hugged up and little kiss over the forehead or whatever it was but nobody saw his face but they knew it was her and when that was put out there, you know, somebody in the house had to have done it. And I thought for some reason it was Rich. I, mm-hmm. really, I thought it was a dude. I was between Rich and the, and the white guy. <laughs> I don't know. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, why would she do that? I felt like if she did, I, I felt like it was somebody who had less to lose. I didn't think it would be anybody who was like an actual contestant. Yeah, I can see how you're not knowing it then, but afterwards, you know how much clout that she really does have. Yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah, okay. Why would she risk it? That's what I, yeah, so I was thinking, I was thinking more in the lines of Rich because he was just a producer, you know, mm-hmm. he, you know, just. <laughs> Rich would have, uh, if I think, I think if Rich would have done it, he would have, uh, he would have leaked who, who, who the dude was, cause, cause just showing her, like that's just hurting her. And he likes her. He don't like him. So that's why I didn't think it was him because it didn't show who he was. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. And then I thought it was the girl, cause just as much as Jay don't like her, she don't like Jay. So that's that's, that's why I thought it was. I thought it was her because she was just trying to like ruin Jay's reputation too, like hers is. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, you just uh, you a little slut bucket too. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know. Yeah, that's what she was trying. That's to why I thought it was her. Yeah, I could. Yeah, because yeah, it could have went both of those ways. Um, but yeah, that 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 it does make sense because that's what happened. Yeah, so it was funny how like the the producer, every writer had to sit with a you know particular um artist and you know how much she don't like this girl and the first thing on the schedule is for <laughs> melina and jay to freaking work with each other and they had another producer like a female producer with him and they, they she was trying to break it because she could feel the tension and she was trying to make them come just kumbaya for a second this is professional let's let's do this um and Jay was putting everything to the side. And she's not the one who was doing all the stupid stuff. It was being done to her by old girl. But she was willing to, like, let's let bygones be got bygones. So let's make you a hit record because that's what I'm here for. It took the fool a minute <laughs> to, to accept those terms. I thought that was so stupid. I'm like, what, what are you so mad about? I guess then we should have known she was mad because she she the one who saw them together. <laughs> she was mm. she wanted that to be her, her man. Well, why would they matter? I mean... Don't nobody want you, girl. Well, everybody wants. Everybody wants. But uh, I like that uh, they were able to get get past that. And she was to the point where she was bragging. Jay was bragging to uh, Nicholas about the song that she did with this girl. Like I hope y'all. Didn't, yeah, I hope y'all got what y'all did. 
like old girl probably can't really hit all these notes, but the way that they did the song, you know, they they made it look good. And yeah. <laughs> so I was glad that Jay did her job. You know, she was professional in that manner. Um, Cause I wouldn't have been. I'm childish. <laughs> I would have rose the track. <laughs> I wouldn't have helped her at all. Yeah. I would have. Mm-mm. But it's her, it's her, it's her neck of the line too, because her name is gonna be on the song. It's written, you know. That's right. Get, you gotta give it, you know. Not nah, helping her. <laughs> but hey, look. So uh, I would have helped the uh little white dude that want to be black. She can't. She had no. <laughs> I would help my man, and that's it. <laughs> that's what she put him out. She had no choice. Um. So yeah, that happens in. Yada yada. So a little later, uh, Jay gets a, a text message that makes her frank, frantic or whatever, and she she already lost her dad because we I don't think we said that before, but yeah. she already lost her dad. Um, in the same kind of manner, she had got like a text or whatever that they were go, going to the hospital. You know, when she got there, you know, it was kind of too late, and she getting a, a similar text it, when she was with Nicholas, and she's like like just panicking and she's trying to hurry up and get out of there because her brother's texting her that her mom is in a hospital but she's okay you know i guess like the text was like don't freak out mom's in the hospital but she's okay you know you know because she already she's going back to where she's been you know with her dad whatever and she's trying to get out of there and nicholas that this part made me love him (laughs) i mean it's like i already i already did before but it's like he completely took over to make sure she was okay. And yeah, in the contest, he did not care. He dropped, but it didn't even matter what he had to do. You know, he, he dropped that. Like, I'm going to take you because you ain't going to drive. You ain't going to make it. You know, you're going to wreck and trying to get there. Right. And he did that, you know, even when they had to pull over and she had to like, you know, let it all out. And she, uh, I think she called, called or whatever, but they made it to the hospital. It was like an hour ma- away, maybe not, not that long. And he dropped her off and went to go park the car. He went to the receptionist to see about where the mom at. I love that part. And, love and then that. he got now. He's like, that's my wife. <laughs> he's like, okay. oh, only family. Like, what? Uh, what about son-in-laws? Is that matter? <laughs> Is that <family? laughs> Like really, I, I was wondering if that was gonna come back on him, and it did, of course. Um, but you know, he walks into the hospital room, and the, the brother is like, "Uh, what? Who, who knows? It's a basketball play up in here. Like, <laughs> who knows him? Who knows this man? How about you know this man? <laughs> oh, her mom was just embarrassed. <laughs> She's sitting in the, she she okay. The mama's okay. She's like, she's fine. It's like high sugar. It was something, something that, you know, could be fixed. It wasn't like really anything serious. But yeah, she she's all over. Like, who who is this? Oh, it's your friend. Oh, okay. You know, and they trying to see about him. They having a little, you know, cute little talk or whatever. And then oh, a nurse come in <laughs> to talk about how she's so lucky to have all this family, you know, and the in-laws and stuff. And they're like, what? Because <laughs> only one in-law was in there. And then he, after she left, he gonna say, babe, I had to tell her. And they're like, who, who babe is? I thought this was your Because <laughs> we be doing this, you know, trying to play it off like it's not really nothing. Mm-hmm. I, that, that whole part was so cute to me. Um, that was very cute, very cute. And the, the mama was trying to make sure, hey, she, oh, he got a strong back. Okay. I was like, no. <laughs> no. <Dang. laughs> the fact that he, like she said, he didn't just drop her off because he don't know these people. But right. he didn't just drop her off. He's a famous person who can't just walk in somebody. The woman at the, rece- the receptionist knew who he was, you know, said his last name when he walked up. So if he, everybody knows him. But he still went in there, you know, to, to check on her her mom and to make sure that everything's okay. And every time they go and take that effort and stuff, it just makes me like them. Um, I love them. So, yeah, that's a winner for me. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, they, you know, get back to the house. And there's more drama. I mean, I thought the drama was over with that video. Melina was acting stupid with her in another session, and she had to tell her off. 
Melina was being funky with her because now she knows that Jade and Nicholas are a thing. And she's like, you know, trying to say like, you you can try to sleep with everybody. You know, like what Salisha said, like, like you the same as me almost. Like you trying to sleep with everybody. Melina, she wanted, she wanted Nicholas. Melina now knows because they had to have a meeting about somebody leaking, you know, that, that yeah. little clip or whatever of them too. So now it's known that they're together, you know. And Melina has a problem with that because she wanted him and she couldn't have him. Uh, so when they go to the next session, session with Melina, uh, Jade, and whatever other female producer was there, Melina wasn't having it. You know, she, 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 wasn't, she wasn't feeling it. She wanted to tell Jade how she felt about her, which was all completely wrong. And Jade had to step into her face and tell her about herself. <laughs> and uh, like, they just couldn't, they just couldn't get it together. And, Jay was, she walked out. She was going to go ahead and tell the, the head people like, no, I'm, I can't, I'm not going to, I'm not going to work with this girl. She's, this is, she acting stupid. She doing this. I'm not going to work with her. And old girl was right on her heels. They both about to tell people. One guy who's part of the record company is on Melina's side, taking whatever she said. I don't know why later, but he's, he's believing her and only her. Mm -hmm. Bro, yep. it's, he gets the truth because the uh, producer corroborates what Jade says, you know? So it's like this big mess, like they can't work together type of thing. But Melina just has this, this, this thing about her. Like she just thinks she can do whatever she wants, say whatever she wants, get people in trouble, lie, tell her side and people get fired. But that's right. what's going to happen today. But that's what she thinks she's doing. And then later on, that's when they, they find out, I think, I don't know what happened. I think they went back to the house, whatever. So later they, they see that Melina has been escorted out of the house with all of her things. Yeah, when they came back, yep. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, when they came back. They see that she's, she's she gone. They're like, what what happened? She's the one who leaked it. She was trying to leak some more. She tried to, she tried to leak it. But the people who she was trying to leak it to, the dude had already told them if somebody tried to contact you, uh -huh. she was going to try to what, tell what, me who. Um, so now Melina's gone. So now it's up to Nicholas and a white boy who Jay just does not like. She thinks he's trying too hard. You know, he's just trying too hard to be black. That's what she just don't like it. Um, it's between those two. And that's it. Like we think, like everything's good, everything fine. Let's move on with it. You know, black guy, he's gonna he gonna win. Nigga's gonna win. That's it. It's done. It's a done deal. Um, they're getting real comfortable in this house. You know, then like one one morning, you know, after everything has settled, you know, she went. To, Jay went to make breakfast. You know, Rich came in. He came up behind her. You know, being real inappropriate. You know, acting like he can get it and stuff. And and I think she slapped. Yeah. He touched her butt. I think yeah. But yeah, he got real, real handsy with her, and uh, she didn't like it. But she, ain't, she didn't want to say nothing, right? Because she felt like she handled him. You know, we feel like we say yeah. that's it, it's done. You know, whatever. That's not. You know, when Nicholas finds out what really happened, that was it. You couldn't tell him nothing. Now, I, I, I thought, you know, she's trying to tell him I handled it. This is what happened. Because he's like, you're not gonna just like not tell me. You need to let me know. She told him, like, he touched me or whatever, you know, and I, I handled it. I told him I put him in his place. He's not having it. He said, there's mm -hmm. two things we can do. We can go to <laughs> the, the road dude, tell him. Or he'll handle you know, Or I'm going to knock him out. Knock him out the box, Rick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I don't know. Y'all think, he, think he, he, he was right for doing it? Or should, should he had just left it since she said it was okay? No, I, he should have been in there. He was right, and I just love him so much. <laughs> that was so beautiful. That was a, like a tough little little moment between them two, because she's really like, you're not going to do either of them. Like, I said it's okay. He's like, no. No. He's like, oh, so you don't want to tell him? Okay, so I'm going to go with his ass real quick. Exactly. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, give me two options. It ain't going to be nothing but one of those. And I was like, dang, he's not letting this go. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when, you know, they went to go talk to, to Ro, and that's when we find out Melina mm -hmm. left because of the what she was trying to do. And also, Ryan is gone because now we know that those fools are brother and sister. She's mm -hmm. 
the like the boss man or CEOs of this company's little sister, which is why she always got gets, her way. Yeah, she gets her way and nothing happens. Cause you would think that they would not mess with her no more from the, the mess she caused in the past. And I'm gonna say this, at first I thought they were sleeping together. I did too. That's the only other way, reason. <laughs> exactly that she'd get away with all this and he'd always side with her and i'm like oh my gosh he's sleeping with her but no that was that was his little sister Damn. so that should have been like from the jump that she shouldn't have been able to be at this contest right because he knew they was family right no. <laughs> so, yes, no. I, I don't even know how she was able to do that like i wouldn't even put him over stuff like come on bro like you you know so that's why she's disqualified, of course, and also because of her trying to uh, leak everything to the blogs. After, you know, finding out all this information about the brother sister thing, they were like, you know what? Forget the daggone contest. Like, for, just forget it. We're done. We shut it down. Just, just let okay. it go. Okay. Yeah. So they're about to, they're going to their rooms to, to pack and everything. But Rich wants to talk to Jade. Nicholas is already aware of what rich has done and he's like no you need to like back like he was about to fight him and jay was trying to get in between them she was literally trying to talk nicholas out of it he was she was like hey you want to help me go uh pack my stuff come on let's go to the room because he was about to get it and then, you know she saved his life <laughs> all i can see is this humongous tall dude and it's like short kind of <laughs> like stocky dude i don't know i see a life being short stocky dude um, mm -hmm. about to get really hurt, you know, for for putting his hands on her. And he was like, you know, like just stay away from him. You ain't, you ain't got nothing to do with you. But um, yeah. So contest is already all that. All that for what? <laughs> for for what? Exposing for everything. What did do they? Did they? Didn't they expose him? Or they didn't get a chance to? They didn't get a chance to, no, because they were going to like have a plan on how to give bits and pieces. Yes. And then she, because like another thing that was part of her, con not her contest, her contract was she was going to get like the backing for her to do her country album. And right. it wasn't written in the contract, like the money part was, but that was like one of like the, you know, side agreements for doing this. This is why she did it. And like those side agreements, they were a no-go, you know, since they really didn't accomplished what they were coming out. She did get that still. Not with them. Uh-uh. She didn't. Not with them, but it did happen. Yeah. But it won't. <laughs> no, now they're an item and they're kind of like their their schedules are kind of messed up because she's spending more time at home with her mom after what, you know, a little little health scare. And you know, he has mm -hmm. to, you know, deal with them. Yeah. He was a free agent. Yeah. So he had to deal with like contract agreements and stuff and he got he got what he needed. <laughs> his millions and millions of dollars, you know, for those next few years. It seemed like she was getting uh getting everything she wanted because she ended up, you know, getting her deal, and then she ended up being able to perform at this huge place. And then he, you know, she was supposed to be helping him get, you know, do the uh do the uh what is it called competition, and then the competition ended up falling apart, and then. But like, she got she got yeah. she got good exposure from it. Yeah. Of course, you yeah. know, things people be trying to you know make it for something negative. But she got good exposure from it and she ended up getting um a, a record deal with a comp a, a company that would let her be her because she always would say yeah. she tried to sign with people, but they want to put her in this box because that's where they feel mm -hmm. like she belongs, so she wants to sing freaking country. And yeah. she found somebody or they found her. And it was somebody she was an intern for. I remember she said that. But yeah, she she like you said, everything was falling into place. And wow. everything that she gets her her record deal, she gets to do what she wants. She meets up with a new team, and she gets to say how she wants to be. You know how she wants to be presented, what she wants to look, her style, her sound. She gets. She was like, surprised when they told her that. She thought, you know. They'll be trying to tell her how to do this and tell her how to do that, but mm -mm. So I was happy that even though the thing fell through for him, it's not the end of the word. This dude is a freaking NBA player. <laughs> so he's not. Right. But he did get to do some stuff with the singing, though. And his, his voice did get out there. And they, they like, 
did a song with her and like now they're both out there you know and everybody knows it's him he can sing and they singing together which is so cute to me i love that you know her mom was coming down there like at the drop of a hat yeah she was yeah she i was like why she coming is she sick or something her mom coming to visit you okay and one of her friends is the one you know he had canceled well something happened where he couldn't go sing at the place and then he called her at the last minute and she's like oh yeah like, oh. Yeah. Her mom was able to see her because her mom was going to end up leaving because her brother was going to have to get her early. But oh, yeah. Mr. Nicholas was like, I'll drop your mom off. You don't have to worry about that. Like, I'll I'll make sure, you know, she could be there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My man coming through again. He was always so like, supportive and like, oh, I love that. It, it didn't matter because you wouldn't think like somebody, they didn't know each other, know each other, you know, like for that long, mm -hmm. especially just be driving your mama like over hour or so away um but that that was pretty cool so she was able to do that venue and when she got her record deal it was like she was going on tour you know he was about to start um playing again and she was naming all of these famous you know theaters whatever that she wanted is it theaters whatever um <laughs> that she wanted to sing at you know almost like bucket list type places and one of them was um you know, in town, and they're in love, and um, they've been <laughs> together for a while, so, like, her her career is really going to where, you know, she, she wants it to go, and she has this really big, you know, concert that she's doing, that she's she's headlining, and mm -hmm. it's late. Right. <laughs> like, oh. it's late. How are you kidding me? And when he, he finally got there, we found out, you know, he's, we think, we uh we found out that he made this poster that it was gonna be so impossible to make at such a last minute, but it meant so much to her because he you know he knows her enough and he saw you know what that meant. But he got this and he got money. Go ahead. He got money. You right. You right. Um, that's why you got a rush on it. But he got it. Um, this poster and it was able to to present it to her right before she was going on stage and she was trying not to cry. A makeup artist was like, "You better not." but that was enough you know like he was late he was rushing to do that because he wanted to do something so sweet for her that poster of her in her performance that was enough for her she was just like so 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 touched and i was like oh i thought it was gonna be something more but okay oh that's a poster <laughs> <laughs> and it was a special thing so i was like cool and then she went on stage, did her thing, and then she brought him out to do their little song that they do, you know, they've done on social media, which was the cutest thing. Um, mm -mm -mm. Then, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. My man. <laughs> I'm so sick of you and your man. What's your man did? Tell him. He got on his knee and proposed to me in front of all those people. And it was okay, so okay. Icky, icky, icky. <laughs> he, he proposed to Jade. In front of all of her fans on the stage. <laughs> and then he whispered in her, my ear that this is why I was late. Because I was trying to get this ring complete. <sighs> <laughs> that was so, 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 so sweet. That was, so, like, that was a perfect end. So, you know, you, you don't, it don't always have to be a proposal. But, like, when it's something like that, it's like, oh. Was I wasn't looking for it, but what I, what else what was I look, was looking for was um, Naima. Didn't y'all think she was gonna be pregnant? Uh oh, I thought she was gonna be that she was gonna announce her being pregnant because she never drank any alcohol. Did she never drink anyway? But every time they had a function or whatever, she always had water. Hmm. Dang, I was so. And to my man, I, I didn't even see that. I didn't notice that either. I was just like, shit, don't drink. I thought, oh, they're going to come out with an announcement in the epilogue. I was like, no, nothing. nothing. <laughs> nothing. Good. Shoot. Everybody can't be. Y'all got to stop that. The accident. <laughs> you know, you be in love, though. You be in love, though. Well, dang it. You know, that's, that changes a lot of stuff. But, oh, um, yeah. But, yeah, that was, that was so sweet. And, like they didn't go I like that they didn't go through like major traumatic drama, but it was still like messy. <laughs> like, yeah, it yeah, it was messy. I love their story. Um I really, really like Nico, but 
I, I love Jade because she went for it. She did not compromise for you, dream. you know, she went for it and she she held out. You know, she she did what she had to do. She made her money writing, you know, because she has she has a gift for that. But to not allow somebody to put you in that box when that's like the only thing that's presented to you and to hold out because it could have taken a long time. Long time, you're right. But you know, when you wait on God, <laughs> yes, you know, it, it works out when it's when it's time. And I really I love that for her. Cause it's like for him, it's like he already had his thing. Um, he already yeah. had his thing. you know, music, of course, you know, that's another venture, but he already had his thing. so for her to get that and all that she had to go through with these little uh rednecks and stuff calling her colored and stuff oh you gonna hear her colored boy singing out through your radios with the country <laughs> music and all. um i was really proud of her i was like just really happy that she 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 got to to have that dream come true because i feel like i felt like she deserved it like i knew her she did <laughs> like she, she came a long way yeah. long way this is a very I, a sweet story, and I look, I like that it took a while for them to uh, finally have sex because it kind of it was like a I know thing. right <laughs> it was you know you didn't know they was gonna do it like come on now but it was it was a good, it was a good build up I like how how that happened five stars for me for sure five stars for me too indeed like you said with uh, Jade she was my fave as well she didn't take down like you said she stood her ground I loved it I loved it. That's an example, not to, to just the adults who's striving, but also these young people who think, you know, that just because they want to do something different, that they ain't going to be able to make it with that. They just got to keep on, keep on pressing. Don't have to. You just got to take it, you know, you don't have to tell somebody who you are in order to like, well, you can't do it unless you are this way, that way. You ain't going to make no money unless you do it this way, that way. Well, I'm not gonna make money with you <laughs> you know just just keep pushing right yeah she better than me because i would have uh sung my country music on my free time and i would have did my r&b <laughs> <laughs> let them box me up and and pay me so <laughs> yeah that, that's that's i ain't gonna even lie it wouldn't have took me that long to make it with the voice that she had what she have but she you know she wants to do what she wants to do, and she stuck to it, and more power to her, but it, that wouldn't have been me. I I, I do, do think she's great and all, but she was my favorite. Uh, Nico was. Oh, who your favorite was? I, I cannot, cannot, cannot. Go cannot ahead. Talk. Sorry, you, know, you, you had your time. Ahead. I didn't say nothing when you was talking. But you did. Go ahead. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nico was my favorite. He was, he's just amazing person inside and out like i just love him like everything about him like it's nothing in his story that he did that i just didn't love mm. i'm just like ah. yeah that's my man five stars the book was amazing i'm actually in the middle of finishing it again i'm about to go do that once we finish this because uh i love me so nico nicholas mm -mm -mm. All right. I mean, that's that's it. That's all we got. November's Book of the Month, Shots Not Taken by Nicole Falls. My first time reading her, and I'm definitely going to read more. But all righty, that's all we got. We out. All right. Y'all better go get y'all. We already got ours. <laughs>